Hey students, welcome to the video. So today I've come up with an interesting NCRT question. So we are discussing the solution of an NCRT question from here. So this is from the chapter Understanding Quadrilaterals from the exercise 3.4 and question number 6. So let's quickly take a look. ABC is a right angle triangle. Since it is right angle triangle, that means this angle is 90 degree over here. O is the midpoint of the side opposite to the right angle. So this is the hypotenuse, which is the opposite side opposite to the right angle. O is the midpoint of it. All right. Now explain why O is equidistant from A, B and C from all these points, why it is at equal distances. All right. So to simplify this, first we will construct here lines. These dotted lines that we can see over here, we will construct AD and DC in such a way that AD is parallel to BC and AB is parallel to DC. Now, since these are parallel, we can say that over here, this AB would be equal to DC and AD would be equal to BC. Reason being the distance between any two parallel lines is always going to be same. Now, since these lines are parallel, this is a transversal. So, some of both these two angles is going to be equals to 180 degree because they are on the same side of the transversal. So, if the angle B is 90 degrees, so angle A will also be 90 degree if you substitute here. Similarly, we can use for the other angles as well. Similarly, here as well, I can say. So, if I use these parallel lines, this AB and DC, I can say this is the transversal. So, angle B plus angle C, they will also be equal to 180 degree. So, angle C would be 90 degree. Similarly, angle C and D both would be equal to 90 degree. Now, all these angles are equal to 90 degree. We know one thing as opposite sides are parallel as well as equal and all the interior angles are right angles. So, what this is actually, what type of quadrilateral is it? It's basically a rectangle. And we know that diagonals of a rectangle are equal and bisect each other. So, this OA is equal to to OC, OB is equal to OD over here. So OA and OC, these were already equal, right? Also, we know that diagonals over here are equal in length, so their halves will also be equal. So they all are equal over here, OA, OB, OC and OD. Hence, O is equidistant from all these three points, A, B and C. Now, leave a comment from me in the comment section how you like this question.